All right, so I finally took the plunge and ordered these uh, Spook Show cards. Uh, they're non-sport trading cards uh, by a company called Monster Wax. Uh, they're out of Tallahassee, Florida. And uh, they specialize in a few sets of uh, different type of sci-fi, monster kind of uh, trading cards. Um, and they had this one for a while and I forgot about it. And when I remembered it, I assumed that they were sold out because there's only 500 boxes made. Um, and uh, so I just kind of forgot about it again, thinking, oh, well, you know, I probably missed out on it. But I came across it again recently and I, I emailed, uh, emailed them and asked them if they still had any in stock. And they said yes, so I ordered them. And here they are. And basically what this is, is a box of, I believe, 24 packs of cards. Um, and uh, they depict a bunch of different Spook Show uh, posters. Um, and a few years ago, a few years ago, like 10 years ago, I really got into Spook Shows. And I, uh, the goal was I was going to start acquiring some of those uh, original posters and, and uh, window cards. And, um, you know, when you're a collector, you collect all kinds of shit. So I had to pay off all this other stuff I was buying at the moment. And uh, finally, when I got around to recently really getting into buying some uh, posters, um, man, the, the frickin' prices have gone, like, skyrocket. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, I decided, I have a couple of things I'll show you later, um, uh, but I really wanted to get some images going and I thought, well, this is kind of cool. And uh, this box is really, really cool. It's, um, I think it's a keeper. Definitely uh, something to keep some stuff in. I, I really like the back image right here. And each uh, side has a different image, which is pretty cool. All right, so um, let's open this up and see what I got. Now, um, well, this is funny. This is a uh, insurance policy that you get uh, when you order it, order the box. And uh, you can pause that if you really want to read it. I won't read it to you. Don't waste your time. Um, so what you get is uh, about, I believe it's 24 packs of spook show cards and I believe the guarantee is that you will get at least one base set and I think all the special cards and there's a couple of foil cards and some some other stuff and these come in two variations with the black wrapper and the red wrapper and hopefully I can uh, separate a complete set and keep one or two one black one red uh, pack um, sealed up we'll see so I'm not gonna bore you with open well let's open one up so you can see what you get and then I will separate them out off camera and come back you get some gum that's kind of neat it's a uh, Wrigley's nothing special and then you get, I think, I think you get six cards. And um, on the back of each card, it has a description of that poster. And the quality of the cards are really nice. Ah, uh, there's a classic right there. I love that one. I wish I could find this one at a reasonable price, but I haven't seen anything under 500 when it comes to this one. I don't want to spend $500 on a poster, man. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get a complete set up, and then I'll show you the spread, and uh, we'll go from there. So I shall return. Oh yeah, and before I start, there's actually some extras that come with this box. I thought I'd show you those first. Get it out of the way. So you get this, um, kind of barf bag here. Spook show. 
and it's a little little barf bag. I thought that was kind of funny. You get a uh, little comic that I believe is uh, done by uh, Kurt, the guy that runs uh, Monster Wax. And it's kind of in the style of one of those uh, chick uh, uh, tracks you would get. If you live in California, you would get them on Hollywood Boulevard. And there's little religious um, comic books that taught you some kind of moral lesson on Christianity. And they're pretty cool. They always had something to do with like Satan and uh, drug, <laughs> drug abuse. Uh, I'm sure you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's kind of neat. And then you get this um, Spook Show ticket. Recreation, I'm sure. I don't think this was an original, but it looked pretty, pretty good. So those are three extras you get. And now I'm going to open this shit up and uh, see what I got. Okay, so I got uh, the 66 base cards. Um, I'll show you all of these in a spread in a little bit. And, um, you know, whatever. You'll see them in a bit. 66 base cards. It also comes with the checklists, which look pretty cool. Right on that. Checklist one. I close that checklist too, and then this is a um, credit card that just gives you some information on the pack. It also came with a faint pass, it's a Francisco poster on the back, you get a faint check. Please fill out and keep with you in case you pass out during the performance of Nightmare. And I guess uh, if you faint, they contact your next of kin. <laughs> and a gimmick card, which um, has this uh, optical illusion on the back. And you can uh, pause that if you want and read the directions. You also get six of these really cool foil cards. I actually um, own this, uh, this uh, window card. I'll show it to you in a little bit. I'll just slice it in right here. All right, so this is the uh, window card I own by Neff. Um, and he's a fascinating character, a bit of an asshole. Um, but I believe this window card is from the 50s. I'm not quite sure. I've been trying to date it, but I can't find any information, uh, particularly on when he went by Neff and his Wonder Workers as opposed to uh, uh, Neff and his one, uh, Madhouse Mystery. Was it before that? Was it after? Was it during? I don't know. So if anybody knows any information about this, uh, um, a window card let me know in the comments um, even his book shows a picture of this poster but it doesn't have any uh, notes on it which was kind of annoying it's a pretty cool book if you can find it it's called uh, Pleasant Nightmares and um, he's a bit of an asshole actually um, but there's like some really cool stuff in um, in this book a lot of great pictures especially towards the back a lot of cool publicity shots with models and stuff. So, that's it. Back to the cards. You get six of these. A little foil deal on them. And you get these two embossed cards. I don't know what they're called. They're, they say E1 and E2 on the back. Um, but they're pretty nice quality embossed. And an art card, or a sketch card, something like that. I'm not sure who the um, artist is, but that's who it is. And they drew it in 2014. And then these two promo cards. And there's like a whole uh, bunch of these different promo cards that came out. 
um, with different uh, magazines or conventions and stuff. So not a big deal. Uh, kind of neat to have. I might maybe look up the other ones on eBay, see if I can uh, get a complete set of these. I don't know how many of these were actually uh, released. You also get this um, this plate, the printing plate of one of the, um, it's kind of hard to see, but it's one of the, uh, the cards. So that's pretty neat. It's like a little tinny looking or feeling thing. And in one of the packs, you get this uh, paint fill. Uh, yeah, faint pill. <laughs> paint fill. Faint pill, and I believe it's just a pop tart or something. And that's it. Stay tuned for the spread. And um, Kurt wrote a note with it saying that there's going to be a, a second. Uh, Set coming out pretty soon uh, it's gonna be on Kickstarter and I usually don't do Kickstarters but I think this will be the first Kickstarter I do because I'm pretty sure I'm guaranteed to actually get something since these guys that's what they do so all the links to all this stuff below if you want to get yourself some oh yeah and then um, these are all the extras I got <laughs> so I haven't checked if there's a, another base set here. So I don't know if uh, you guys need some, some of these, let me know. Maybe I'll put, if I can get a complete set, you know, that'd be cool. I'll have two sets, maybe I saw one set online or something. All right, enjoy, thanks for watching. See ya. All right, I forgot to do a full on spread of all the cards before I put them in the uh, binder. So I'm just gonna kind of show you one page at a time you can enjoy it and uh, that's uh, 66 cards six uh, foil cards three gimmick cards here's the gimmick cards checklist one and two uh, this is the uh, credits card that just tells you a little bit about the uh, card they have some backs up to them. Um, these are the foil cards. And these two are embossed. Uh, two embossed uh, cards. And this is the, uh, the plate. The tin plate. Or pressing plate. And these two are um, the um, promo cards that come out. They came out in different uh, places. And a art or a sketch card, which I'm not really into, but whatever. Those are really some other cool ones that I would have rather gotten, but hey, somebody drew that, so that's cool, you know? All right, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya. Have you ever walked through a graveyard late at night and seen a coffin open? Have you ever thought what it would be like to see a person's head amputated? Think. Think of things so horrible that the human mind cannot imagine them. See all this and more when you see on stage, in person, that crazy mixed up Dr. Evil and his terrors of the unknown. Unlike anything that you've ever seen or heard of in the past. Hideous creatures from beyond the grave. Leave the stage and grab girls right out of their seats. Girls, do not come alone. Bring your boy friend to protect you when the lights go out. You may find a live snake or rat under your seat. A real dead body is given away to some lucky person at every performance. Also in person. The mummy and King Kong famous Hollywood gorilla real and alive. Plus on the screen two horrific motion pictures. Dr. Evil and his tears of the unknown. Plus two horrific pictures. Ah!